Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Time Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the stage. I am. I'm the man. And we are playing Madden 20, the San Francisco 49 Nights. Yeah, dude, we're taking over the Dynamite Nights oh. and turning them into the Jonah Nine Nights. It only makes sense that we would be playing the team that clearly won the Super Bowl. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, we'll see if they. Uh, because we're recording this before the Super Bowl. I'm making a prediction, Jonas. Are you? This video's coming out in the future, and I'm it's hard gonna standing. It's going to come out. We already did the one that come out on the day after the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. All of that is, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? It fits perfect because maybe maybe we should say that if these guys don't win the Super Bowl, we're going to switch over to a Chiefs franchise <laughs> just so we can wow. capitalize on, uh, wow. on front runner is that, fandom. Is that we the actually, idea? That probably would be the best idea is for us to do two two franchises like we've been doing and be doing the Chiefs and the 49ers because those are the two front running MF and people. Is that, is that what we do now? We just run front runner teams? No, dude. I'm always used to Oilers. But, yeah, the Oilers are not front running teams. They don't exist. Yeah, I know, right? People are people from You do the Browns. Right, dude? People like the Browns, though. <laughs> they're, oh, my God. He had five touchdowns last year. They're week? about the least r front runner you could possibly be. I know, right? They're, they're the <laughs> right? back runner. Everyone's like, everyone's like, oh, look at Crazy Town Media. What a front running B channel. Oh, wait. They play the Browns all the time? <laughs> wait, wait. No, no. They, they are. Like, yeah, what, what's wrong with them? <laughs> with a fun. Oh, my. Oh, Jesus. There it's, go. Oh! It's, it's, look a, at this it's, a, it's a shame we couldn't have been born in a more popular city than maybe people would look up that, that team. Yeah, but you know what, man? Like, people people watch the Browns videos. People like the Browns. I think people like watching the Browns win because they never win in real life. <laughs> I guess, man. It's like a simulation. Yeah, they're all like, <laughs> man, it's like I'm living in an alternate reality where the Browns win things. Let me hit you with a little bit of knowledge, Jonas. I'm, I'm, I it's, love it's, getting, it's, it's getting a little, learned. It's a little off topic here. No, we but, uh, always are off topic. I saw, I saw statistics, so of course this is, you know, truth, not facts. Okay, cool, cool. I saw statistics that said that uh, EA Sports had made four times the amount of money that it made in selling its video games and microtransactions. That sounds about right. It was to the tone of like four or like it's to the tone of like a billion or so, maybe more than that <laughs> in microtransactions. But you know what? That's why they put out trash games like this now. Oh, we, I'm aware. Be because their money isn't inputting the game out. Their money is supplementing the game with crap. The video game industry or the video game culture is like big on like people who buy sports games and how they just continuously buy the same game over and over and over again. Yep, it is, and we <laughs> and, do, yeah. And then they, and then and add yeah. one little feature they or a feature that's basically just microtransactions. <laughs> that that Madden Ultimate Team, I didn't understand what it was when we were playing it necessarily. Yeah, but once I did like a little bit of research on it, I was like, oh, it's a giant microtransaction game. It's all just microtransactions. Yeah, because you can earn cards by playing, but it takes it forever, takes so long. Yeah, it's like a cell phone game. Yeah. Pretty much. It's like, except for you're actually playing a football game. If it was a mobile game, it would just be like, it would take all the stats of your cards and like it would simulate who won. I don't know, man. Those mobile games are, are getting pretty uh, pretty big, man. There's, there's some good ones out there, actually. Yeah, I know, man. I should have gotten the mobile game business. <laughs> you should have gotten the mobile. You, you mean programming? You don't know anything about programming. Oh, his mom did. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't, but I had uh, I had uh, there was this there was this mobile game that I was playing a while. Was that uh, back? Then. I don't even remember what it was called. It was something about uh, Clash of Clans. It was uh, it was a game where like it was a location game based game, kind of you know like 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 a Pokemon Go type thing. Where oh, okay, um, but what it was was wherever you were, yeah, you could buy whatever thing was there. Like so, if you were at McDonald's, you could buy McDonald's. Like Monopoly. Kind of, but like, and what happened was you would buy like ev everything at a hundred percent. You could buy a part of it, and anything you bought per, per made you fake money in the game. Oh, and like depending on what it was, um, you could okay. do whatever, and uh, you could upgrade this. It was like it was something along those lines. I don't remember exactly. This was years ago, Oops. but but it gave me a really good idea to make it. But there was microtransactions in the game that like allowed you to do other things, and it made yeah. me like. 
like I I started like writing down plans to make a mobile game that would like be microtransaction heavy. <laughs> <laughs> You're part of the problem, dude. You know and if I knew how to program, I'd be a millionaire right now. I need to know the name of this cell phone game you were paying though, playing. Yeah, it was it's cool. like Mike Bloomberg Simulator. <laughs> it was yeah, just it was, go around buying stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the more you buy, the more it makes you money. So you just keep buying stuff. Yeah, dude. You have I unlimited remember, funds. I don't exactly remember what the microtransactions did. It was, I think it was one of those games too. You can only make so many moves a day, or you can only play so much a day unless you like paid. <laughs> you had to pay to. Oh you know, God. you know what Bad I mean. Model. It was like one of those like sort of. I don't. Yeah, it's like you will have a more, you'll have more turns in twenty hours unless you pay us five dollars. Yeah, you can play now a lot of people blame uh, the cell phone games for the the microtransaction. Oh, like that's where it started. It did. I'm really glad that Clash of Clans, I'm, dude. I'm was really like, was was one of those. I'm really glad that the video game industry hasn't adopted that you can only play this game for eight hours a day unless you pay us more money. Model. They or, do. or you only have so many turns. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that model works so... Because you're like, I want more turns. Like, could you imagine if a, if a thing popped up on Madden like, hey, want to keep playing? <laughs> purchase purchase <laughs> infinity crystals. <laughs> you, won't, you only get eight quarters a day. You played your eight quarters. That would be awful. You can play eight more quarters. But dude, <laughs> if the video game industry was smart... They would make all of their games free, yeah, free and, to play. and only do sh stuff like that because it would. Because then it's like if you don't pay for it, I get it. But you, you know what, Joe? While that's probably like at least for business and for consumer, that's probably one of the best models as long as it's not like you get the best quarterback because you decide to do a microtransaction. Right, 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 right. It can't be like game breaking if it was just like it can't be like pay to win. Exactly. Yeah. That's best for like customer and company because obviously video games you, being sold at sixty dollars, it's not as profitable as it was when like PlayStation was out. And right. Video right. Games yeah. For $60. Exactly. Yeah. For sure. But I also hate that model because can I just buy the game? For for all the crap that we gave Borderlands, yo, that was just a game. It was. It was just a game. It was complete. It was uh, the microtransactions. There could have been some. There weren't. It was just a game. Yep. And, and we had fun with it. I played it for months. It got a lot of crap because it was buggy. It got a lot of crap because but for it was not it funny. Was, dude, oh, my God, dude. It was just a good game, and it was a game. And I appreciated that. Oh, where yeah. where this is no, you know, it's, it's, it's basically it's, Madden 19 with a shell over top of it. It's basically Madden 17, 17. <laughs> with a shell over top of it, and and like it's and it's buggy, and oh, it, yeah. yeah, it's it sucks because like back in the day, like I've been playing Madden forever. Like it's I mean I've talked about it many, like literally since probably the game came out. Yes, and <laughs> I had to think about it for a second, and it you even like up into like. 2010 and stuff like it would come out and it wouldn't be a trash game yeah it yeah. like it was done I and i don't understand I how they regress yeah, pff, because the money got in the way that's true the money gets in the way man they're like how can we do this cheaper and still make a profit oh wait we did it cheaper and people bought it let's do it even cheaper okay people are still buying this we'll just have one monkey working on a typewriter making the game and uh, people still mind it yep i got you well and that's uh one of the big things i read about this year with video games is like they uh, put out that wrestling game every year yeah and i read that this year like they put it, it out bad. and it was like so broken like there was like yeah. a uprising in the video game community about like yeah it was how bad really it was buggy. well they what what happened with them is that they decided to stop playing uh the ukes company that had been making the wrestling games for like almost 10 years or some ish and uh they outsourced to another company and it didn't come out too good yeah well and the other not. thing that was funny is it was called uh whatever 20 2k20 and when and when it flipped to 2020, it didn't work for like a week. Yeah, like a, a day or whatever. They, they didn't. K virus. They had, they, yeah, they didn't program it to work after the 20, yeah, 20 yeah. Like, so it was broken right away. Oh, that's so funny! It had a Y2K. Jodas, man, Y2K. Dude. <laughs> God, everyone was so stupid. What was Chris Jericho's? Wasn't he Y2K or who? Y2J. Y2J. <laughs> oh my God.
Why do I remember that? The funny part about that is he was around 20 years ago at Y2J, and now he's the, the heavyweight champion of a wrestling promotion right now, 20 years later. Is he still in WWE? No, he's in that new AEW promotion. He's the champion. AEW? Yeah, it's a new promotion, a bunch of like... Uh, this is real? This is real. Um, it's There was a bunch of uh, guys who... They were basically like kind of like the biggest guys who weren't in WWE kind of deal. They were in other promotions like in Japan and stuff. Big Papa Pump, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yes, Big Papa Pump. <laughs> Them and the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars owner, actually, who's a billionaire. Yeah, oh, just naturally. Um, Somebody's got to fund they, it. Uh, they started a promotion. Mm -hmm. And it has like a TV deal and like, but they signed like, uh, you remember um, uh, like Dusty Rhodes? Yeah, familiar. His kid. Is one of the main people who put it together. Oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I mean, is it competitive? Because there's been like some people who tried to oh, be competitive. It, it's the closest thing they've had to competition in a long time. They have a TV deal, like on TNT and stuff. Like they're, it's the, it's the biggest com like. Uh, but what happens is a lot of like the guys that are unhappy in WWF go are, there. are go and like WWF has started like locking people down and doing crap like. You were injured for six months. We're adding six months on your contract because of our injury clause. Like they can do that sort of stuff wow. because they know these people are unhappy and they want to go. Because what happens is WWE has so many guys now yeah. that, that they, they can't possibly put you all on TV. Yeah, and then you're not even getting paid. What you, well, what you're you getting could paid, get but you're paid. not doing anything. And you're like, I'm a wrestler. I want to wrestle. Like that's what I, I don't. Yeah, the money's great, but I want to perform. Like that's my job. Like that's what I like doing. See, and that makes me wonder. Like. <laughs> Totally turn into a wrestling podcast. Yeah, Let's whatever. do it. Fuck it. Oh, forget it. Forget about <laughs> it. Forget about it. Forget about it. I wonder how much. Uh, what's the difference between like sitting on the bench on a pro team versus playing like Canada football is? You know. Yeah. And that's well, kind of like the well, but, idea with these and that's wrestlers. Kinda, and that's kind of what, what it is. Yeah, it's, you're almost absolutely right. It's like a different – but um, but there was like – but they've, they've gotten a couple like big people for, that were in WWF and left. Like uh, – What's his name? Dean Ambrose. I don't know if you remember him. He was, he's more – like – but like he's, he was like – he no. left – but there's people in WWF who just aren't resigning contracts for like a million dollars just to, for an opportunity to like go like yeah actually be a, a superstar. Or well, the other thing I guess that I've heard is di way different with them is they let the wrestlers have part of the creative process and like do their own thing. Where in WWF it's all very scripted and yeah. they're told what to do and whatever. Right. I'm so not it's mad like at that. yeah, and one of the guys who left, the one of the <laughs> biggest guys, was like. He's like, I was so unhappy. I didn't know what I wanted to do with myself. Mm -hmm. He's like, and now that I've got here, I'm like, I feel like I enjoy doing my job again because I can like do be myself and do what I want to do and not be Bro. like micromanaged to death about. I'm going to tell you right now, respect the hell out of that because I quit my job because I was just unhappy with <laughs> right. what I was doing. And yes, it was lucrative, but I was like, I'd rather be happy than, than have right. money. Yeah, dude. And that's why I think, well, I think uh, that's a big problem with everyone in the world. Everyone just wants to make so, as much money as possible. Mm -hmm. So it's like, so you'll get whatever job will pay you more, you take. Yep. So and then you're miserable. You hate your life. And you like, and you're like, yeah, I work eighty hours a week, but guess what? I make a hundred thousand dollars a year. And you're like, yeah, but you're miserable. You're so mad all the time. How do you feel about your job, Joe? Uh, I I don't really care for, like. Do you feel like you could be happier elsewhere? Uh, I'm talking about your real life job, not this YouTube business. <laughs> oh, I could never be. I'm stuck in the middle of this thing. We love um, that. I'm, oh my Jesus. Uh, I am very lucky in the role that I have. It allow it. It's a very, I get paid decent, I have great benefits, I get good vacation, it's easy for me to take time off. I'm yeah, we're not talking about the benefits, we're talking about where's your passion, motherfucker. Oh, we're not I talking did. about that. Yeah, all well, of those things were true well, of my was, job was, that I quit. I was leaving there, I was getting there. <laughs> There's a lot of things about it that are very, is it my, is my passion? <laughs> Why are you dancing, man? You're I was doing in the, the middle mama. of trying to say something, and you cut me off. I was trying to finish my GD thought. Get it out. It is not my passion, no. <laughs> there. <laughs> How about that? Is it enough that you want to leave? I will probably stay until I find something that is worth it Comparable. to leave. Worth it to leave. Because I have a lot of perks that 
although I'm not passionate about it, I don't mind it. I don't hate it. At okay. All. Well, see, there, there's, therein lies the difference. Yeah, it's like it. Um, well, mainly because like it's a job. Uh, the jo- the company I work for, ninety five percent of the jobs you have to be on the phone all day, and I have one of the jobs that you don't. Ugh. And that is, and that is not being on the phone talking to people all day is one of the biggest things in my life that I don't want to do. So mm-hmm. I'm glad, I'm happy with what I got. Like, it's it's got to be tough uh, being a phone sex operator. Jonas. I know, right? I mean, That's... I just, I just get to route them as they come in. <laughs> you just get to route them in. I'm like, like oh, what, want, I'm what like, kind oh, of girl are you the... looking for? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> they, they mess, they, they fill out the online form. I want a blonde with, and I'm like, oh, route the call to the proper person. <laughs> You just send them into my room. Yeah, I just, I just send whoever because they're all not what they are anyway. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I think I would be great at a phone sex, uh, a phone sex girl guy. What are you? What are you? <laughs> like, hey, what are you wearing? <laughs> but could you have dudes call you up and like you? Is that is that does that make me gay if I do that? I don't think so. I'm just asking. It's just your job. <laughs> <laughs> It's not gay if you get paid for it. <laughs> it's work. Uh, yeah, dude, you're just working. <laughs> but yeah, I guess okay. Not that if there's anything gay, wrong if with your that. Your job was to sext with men. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> would would that make you a man who liked men, or would you be just performing work? Yeah, because you're not like physically like doing anything with a guy but you're having sexual things with a guy <laughs> this reminds me of that i was telling you uh on an earlier video that i was watching a dead by daylight streamer and he was like flirting with his chat oh yeah yeah, yeah. you did tell me about that but i couldn't i like by looking at the guy i could not necessarily read if he was gay into them or- yeah or if he was just like playing it up because you're gonna tip me well, right, yeah. And I was thinking, like, could I do that? <laughs> you I was like, could, dude. Yeah, I was like, could I run a cam site where I'm just like sitting there with my legs cocked <laughs> open and a bunch of dudes are just looking at me like, oh, I like that. And, and you're be like, like, yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Stroke. Is it. that how you talk to guys? Though, do you call guys baby? I don't, I don't, know, how I mean, yeah. I don't know how to flirt with guys. Because I don't do it. I feel like if a girl called me baby, I'd be like, hell yeah. So if yeah. a guy called me baby and I'm in the guy's, yeah. But yeah. you know what? But call I me don't, baby, dude. I, okay. With that being said, I, I agree. Like if a girl came up to me like, hey, baby, you look pretty good. I would probably be like, oh, well, hey. But yeah. I don't ever go up to a woman and flirt with her by saying, hey, baby. I feel that's like disrespectful to a woman you don't already have a relationship dude, with. Dude, the, the, the way that you have to maneuver, there's a lot of maneuvering when it comes to like <laughs> dealing with a woman. You can't really... You can't really interchange those. They're not. You can't. Yeah, like baby do the is same like thing. a. We haven't established whether either we're like friends that have fun or we're a partner or whatever. Yeah, you can't just go up to a stranger and be like, "Hey, baby." Like that's just not cool. No, it would be considered disrespectful. It, but women get away with a lot more ish than we ever could. Oh, like as far as like saying things and yeah. things like that. Yeah, like, yeah, I agree. I'm a firm believer that 80 percent of the male population that if a hot enough girl comes over and grabs your business. You're not gonna complain. You're not gonna go to the to the owner of the business and be like, "This guy did this." You're not gonna call a cop. Oh, None I of that's see. gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah. Like if a woman came up and groped you. Yeah, but if some dude, no matter how rich he is or important, or if he's president, comes in and grabs you by the cooter, cooter, it's gonna be an issue. Oh, absolutely, because it's disrespectful. I mean, and and, and it's kind of messed up that it doesn't go both ways. Like, because I would never, ever walk up and just grab on a woman. That yeah. I don't know. But I guarantee you, if we were at some of these these uh, events that we've been to in or the even, past, and some girl just came up and started. Or even. Or even you're not going to complain. Or even at a club. No, I'm not going to complain. Let me get. Let me. Oh, wow. Does, let me ask this, you this question Does it matter to you if you find her attractive or not? What if a girl that, like, you didn't find attractive came up and did it? I would be flattered, <laughs> funny enough, but, like, as long, I mean, I guess it depends on the degree of pushiness. Like, if it was just, like, a playful, like, ooh, hey, yeah. compared to, like, grabbing a handful. All right, think about it like this. If a girl, unattractive or not, came up and flashed me, I'm also not going to go to the police. But if I just pull my junk out and swing it around <laughs> in the room and then put it up, it's going to cause an uproar. An uproar, Jonas. Yeah. Really, women are too busy policing our bodies, Jonas. Wow. I should be able to pull my out if I want to. 
No. What do you mean, no? No. It's my body, my rights, Jonas. Yeah, but. You can't, no. I'm no. taking my body back. I don't agree with you on this. <laughs> I'm going to pull it out I, right now. I don't think you should be able to pull out I'm gonna, your no, I'm, you You're going to pull it out right now. It's my body, Jonas. I, really, right. I pay rent. But but you know what? It's your body, but it's my eyes. <laughs> yeah. My well, eyes you, have to see your you, body. You better get ready to see. avert it because here it comes. Avert your eyes. <laughs> if, now, if you said that to me, I'm pulling it out. You can look if you want. I might be like, I'm not gonna look. But if you just like, un, where I had no option but to look at it, that's wrong. Yeah, but if I had like girl boobs, you'd be all over them. <laughs> no, <laughs> I would not be all, all right, over Jonas, your girl boobs. On the next episode, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> right, <laughs> whatever. All of that was moot. <laughs> all right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, watch some of our other stuff. There's plenty of things here. We talk a lot. For Jonas, TNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one. We are out.